Hello, this is Uni once again. Today we are going to look at how to do little details to your ships and stuff like that easily. So let's get started. Uh, what you want to do uh, is uh, use paint layers like these things here. There's the, this little brush here, that's the paint layer. But you can also do it like I used to do, like having own little mask layers with each color which is really a slow way to do it so you should not do it this way well so let's add a color la paint layer and it makes a la new layer here um, and 3du should go into painting mode automatically like it did so no problem um, Let's take a different camera, like this one. This is our orthographic camera. Um, and yeah, let's take a, our brush here. Mm, maybe, maybe this triangle. And yeah, you can import your own brushes here if you want. Like these are all made by me. Very simple process, but very useful also, and easy to make. Yeah, let's take this one. Let's go full screen. And uh, let's take our colors. As you can see, you can take whatever color you want and start painting things. And you have your own custom colors if you want. They're somewhere. Color box, color panel, yeah, here. Uh, I did my couple of my own custom colors here. You can always remove these or change them if you want. So I can just pick one of from here and maybe I want red, tri red triangle here. Nah, nope. <laughs> Let's take this one. Or maybe I want the triangle spot, maybe down here. So... Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna make an example here, because... I think this is almost ready now, with the little color details, whatever they are. So, let's make a couple here. Like this way and if you want to rotate this brush press B and press left mouse button at the same time and start moving your mouse and you can rotate it like this way or if you want to make it smaller or bigger you press B and right mouse button and move your mouse holy fuck like that um, so yeah, pretty simple stuff. Of course, if I wanna make uh, some place darker, like maybe I wanna make this darker or have some uh, rust texture or whatever, maybe here. This is like, this is, I think, would think this is a bit darker corner here. So let's take one of the brushes here. Let's take what, this one, let's set the opacity to maybe 25 or 0 0.25, something like that. Let's take a dark color and make some texture here, like this, make it smaller. Maybe something like that. Yeah, it's not perfect and it's not supposed to be perfect. This is just an example. Or maybe I want to make a this edge here, maybe a little bit brighter. And you can see it it start to go a little bit brighter. And you can always change the brush and stuff like that. 
And if you want to see this zip uh, or your zip in a different uh, maps, what do you have on it? I you can press one, two, three, four, depending what how many maps you have. So if I press one once, I see the diffuse only. And if I press two, I see my glossiness map or reflection map. As you can see, the windows, the cockpit uh, windows are very bright, so they reflect much light. And uh, then there's a reflection, a uh, specular map, like this one. There are some little errors, like this one. There, I need to tweak this value, so the color doesn't have any um, specular value to itself. Because they are just colors, after all. And the base metal or base textures would give all the specular details. Yeah, so then we have a normals. The 4 is the normals for me. Yeah. And if you want to go back into full shaded, you can press 1 2 times and we are here. This is uh, basically the BBR shading. And you can choose these things here, but I think these shortcut shortcuts are much better than just moving your mouse and clicking things. Of course, if you go 5, you can see the AO also, which I have here also. And 6 is a bump, which I don't have. I don't need it. Opacity, emissive, but I don't need those maps for homeward too. So well, that's all neat stuff. Uh, there's not really that much more stuff to tell you. That being said, that's all for today and thanks for watching and see you next time.